everybody. So we're at day seven for half of the eggs. And I might have to wait till it's dark to be able to candlelight them, but I'm going to make something to candlelight them. So I got a flashlight, and this piece was off of uh, the humidifier for my chameleon that I used to have, and it broke. And this piece, I think an egg will sit perfectly in there, and if I, you'll be able to see it good. So I'm gonna duct tape these two together. So I don't have to worry about holding on to two pieces while I'm trying to hold on to a fragile egg. Brand new roll duct tape. Probably should put paper or something. Jeez. Hopefully, we see them growing in there. Tape works for everything. I think you can buy little candle light things that sit like on the counter or something. And the light turns on, but I'm not patient enough to wait for one of those to come in the mail. I think that just might work. We'll set the little egg in there. Let's see. We'll try, but I think I might have to wait till it's dark. There's three windows. I got them in the garage. I think that might be kind of hard to see. So I've been turning them every about four or five hours. And you turn them because the embryo will stick to one side, I guess, and it can cause deformities. And so that's why you turn the eggs. So far, I've been able to keep it at about 100. See if it'll fit in there good. Oh yeah, I can't really kind of see. Let me turn off these lights. See something. Turn off the garage lights. There's something at the top. Yeah, this thing worked perfectly, didn't it? So I think we'll wait till it's dark in here. I can definitely see something floating around right there. I think that's a good sign. So I will be back at dark. All right, I decided to film turning them so you guys could see me turning them. So I got marked with the X and I turn them till the X is pointing down. And then when the X is pointing down, four hours are turned so the X is pointing up. And you leave them tilted ever so slightly so that the embryo goes to the more rounder side of the egg. I guess it's just better for them. I just seen a guy doing it and he made it seem like it made sense, so. I got another batch that I'm collecting. Just got some from mom and dad's chickens yesterday. I'm collecting up from my three hens. And then if we're making progress, then I'll make some more room and put them in here. And if we're not making progress, then I'll make some adjustments and put them in here anyway. Yeah. So I'll see you guys when it gets darker here in the garage this evening. All 
All right, so it's pretty dark outside. I think we can candle light now. We'll go ahead and turn this light off. Which one is it? There we go. All right, moment of truth. What fancy flashlight I made. Candlelight, that's my flashlight. I might need to turn it in there before I watch. We'll see. This is the one we were looking at earlier. Watch that light. Oh, I see it. You see it there? The embryo. I see the veins. That's a good sign. Should be able to see the veins right now. And the speckles, too, from a picture I was looking at. The speckles are a good sign. I thought it was the shell, but I guess not. I don't know if you can see the vein. Maybe there'll be a better one you can see the veins. Flip it around. It's down there. It's still hanging out at the bottom. It's a good sign. I think it's growing. Flip these while I'm at it. Number two. These ones are all from my chickens. These are Rhode Island Red Americana mixes. Speckles. That's good. Is that where that is? Let's try flipping it over. Oh, see the veins down here? That's good. Oh, there's a good. Now you can see the veins really good through that X there. That one's fertile. It's growing. There's the embryo right there. Right there. I think it's working. Homemade incubator. Speckles dark over there. I can kind of see a vein right there. There's the embryo right there. There. Oh, yeah, I can kind of see the veins. I don't know if you can see them in the camera. So far so good. That's three. These ones, those three were from my, this, so, so four. This one's from my, uh, Rhode Island Reds too, hens. So the last first up to this one was Americanas, or not Americanas, the Rhode Island Reds. Oh, right there, there's a good shot of a vein. All right there. Oh, right there, you can see the veins. See that embryo moving around in there. That one's growing. That's four. Four Rhode Islands. Let's try. Americana egg. This, these are green. I can't really see it. Green. I can't really see them, can you? I need to try to turn this light off. I still, the green shell, but it's got speckles, so that's a good sign. That's probably where the embryo and stuff is, but we can't see it through this shell. I'm going to take it as speckles being a good sign, because I can't see in this shell. Is that five? Four Rhode Islands, one American egg. Another Rhode Island. Oh, yep, there it is. I yeah, see the veins really good right here. The camera's having a hard time focusing in the dark like that. I'm going to turn that other light back on. <clears throat> Babies need it anyway. Let all the heat out. Okay. 
So we got one, two, three, four, five of my Rhode Island red eggs are all growing. One Americana egg so far. Here's another Americana egg. Uh, I see speckles. I see the speckles. It's really hard to see these Americana eggs. Yeah, I see speckles. I want to take the speckles as a good sign. Seven so far, good. Now I'm switching over mom and dad's eggs. I almost got speckles. Veins, I don't see veins. These are a day younger. I don't see veins on this one, but there's definitely, oh, there's the embryo right there. You should see the veins coming from the embryo. I see something. I see something right there. Definitely looks like there's definitely some veins Starting, oh yeah, right there. That was growing. Mom's got, oh, where's mom hiding? Now she's got some Bahamas. Australorps or something? Oh, and I think she's got some Cornish. I love this one because it already has speckles. Oh, it's got the dots and speckles too. This one's, they're really pretty eggs though. I don't know if you can see them, this speckly, white speckles over a light, light cream egg. They're really pretty. This one, well, I kind of see something right here. Don't see veins. I'm going to take speckles as they are day young. I'm going to take speckles as a good sign, but I don't see any veins. This one might be a dud, but that's pretty good. It's pretty good for a homemade incubator, my first time ever doing it. Oh, this one's a, oh yeah. It keeps rolling to the top. Can you see it? All those veins. Keeps, oh yeah, there we go. I think it was there in the camera for a second. It keeps rolling around. There's lots of veins in that one. Oh yeah. That one's definitely growing. That's a great one. Oh yeah. That one's great. I'm so happy and excited. That's at least two for mom and dad. Don't know about that third one. We're going to let it keep going since it's speckly. Ooh, that one's really speckly. And you're not supposed to wash these because they come with, I get, you get, can knock off some chunks. That one probably can knock off some more chunks. But when the chickens lay, they, there's a film over the egg that protects it. And really, with your fresh farm eggs, you shouldn't wash that film off because it, then bacteria gets in there. That one's really speckly. I don't see veins, but that's probably the speckliest one yet. Oh, right there, I almost saw some in the camera. We might have some veins. I'm going to take speckles as a good sign. I had more speckles than that one I didn't see any veins on. Oh, it's super speckly. That one's pretty speckly, too. Ooh, that one's got some definitely veins. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at all those. That one's growing good. This one's a big egg too. This little candlelight, it's working great. Look at all the speckles. Look at the veins right there. Oh yeah, that one's growing good. Last one. So we might have two, only two. They had speckles, so I still have high hopes. Maybe they're just slow growers. Just seeing the embryo. Mm, doesn't have me. Oh, there's there's veins right there. That one's growing. See the veins. So we got may maybe two that didn't aren't taking. I got speckles, so I'm gonna let them keep going, keep trying. But out of how many do I got in there? I got 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Two. Two so far out of 13 with a whole homemade incubator I've never even incubated before. Pretty good. I got, so we got about two more weeks and they'll start hatching. At day 18 and go in lockdown, you can't touch them because their shells are starting to get fragile. So they might break, so you don't want to touch them. Turn the light on. And I have I got more to go in. I'm gonna make up some room. These six are for mom and dad. These are the ones I got for my girls the last two days. We're gonna throw them in too. They'll be a week later. this off for a minute. I know people get all anal about the, their eggs with heat and stuff, but if you think about it, I, mean, I, this, I got a radiator oil heater, one of these things, sitting right here next to them, so the garage stays warm. It's insulated in here. But the mother leaves the eggs for hours on end sometimes to go eat and do their thing during the day. So like opening this to add more eggs, I don't see it as a problem. I really don't. Other people will say no, no, but now it's really fun. So got some flats. I think I can fit more eggs in there with these. I think I'm going to move all of the eggs, the seven day old eggs to one side though. To keep track of them. I'm writing all down all the dates on my calendar as well. So I don't lose track. Okay. I'm gonna put the you guys wanna come over here. Okay, got you guys reset up. Okay, let's see. These ones are for my girls. You want to put the round end pointing up. I think this will be okay. And then when they start hatching, I will I'm gonna take all of this the, these cartons out. I just I might use a towel. I may even get some clean paper, just paper, fresh paper towels and put them down there just to catch the mess. But I'll let them crack, not on this. I think it'll be easier. Then they can roll around if they need to. I don't know if I need to put it up close. is down. Show that. Should have pointed out might be able to get more in there. That one's pretty round. That was kind of hard to tell. <laughs> I think that's the point in. And my hydrometer doesn't seem to be I don't think it's reading right because I got so much moisture on the sides. I think it's at the humidity's higher than it's trying to tell me it is. I don't think I point all these out like that. This seems to work pretty good. Ooh, careful. Get yourself together. Okay, I think that works pretty good. Seems like it'll be just fine. There's some skinny ones. These are pretty skinny. Let's put these in there. I think that'll be better. Yeah. So mom and dad's the inner row mine are over here one two three four five six seven is that one mine yeah that's mom and dad's okay putting in the new eggs and i need to date them and put an x on them so what's today 
15. We'll put X, X, 2, 15. And you can let these sit at room temperature on the counter for up to seven days before you put them in. Where X is down, so I'm going to go ahead and put these X's down. And these ones are mom and dad so far. Trying to keep track. I'm sure once they hatch, it'll be much more difficult, but they're different colors, so. This one's a beautiful egg. Get some more of that poop off if I can. That one's beautiful. Got speckles. I don't know if you can see those dark brown speckles right there, but they're really pretty. This one's got a whole bunch of sawdust on it. They come out, they're kind of damp. Sometimes everything wants to stick to them. But we don't want to pull it all off. Look at this chicken. It's got like some calcium deposits or something. Kind of cool. Eggs fascinate me. One left for Mama Dad's. like that and right there mom and dad's Americana I can kind of see the green start this way and then 11 more eggs Oh, I didn't put that X down all the way now. I wanted to keep track of that. They're gonna. There's a chicken that lays super dark brown eggs that I want. Some of those ones are gonna go out on their eggs. I'm guessing mom and dad's. That light one, the one with the white speckles, I think that one might be one of their Cornish. And I think the light brown, these light cream brown, they're cream color. I think those are probably their Brahamas. And they have, I think they were Astrowarps. I think they're going to be these darker, dark, beautiful dark egg, probably can't even grow on them. But it can fit, oh that's perfect. So mine are in this row, mom and dad's. There we go. There's a dog here. Let's get this light back on them. Oh, we're going to put the lid to this thing. This. All right. I need to bring some more water out. All right. Looks like it's only two, maybe. They had speckles, so I have high hopes. But the rest are looking great. I've seen veins and all the rest. So... My incubator's working. That's the most important part. So we added some more. We got a second batch. They're about a week later than this batch. We got about two weeks left on this this batch here. And then I'll probably candlelight. Maybe I'll look at the. I'll put a picture up so you guys can see the stages with the eggs and candlelighting. And then I'll candlelight maybe once or twice more. And right before, I'll definitely candlelight right before they are getting ready on day 18, 17 or 18, I'll candlelight again. Maybe, maybe we can see a beak, maybe. I've seen pictures, they usually are pretty solid. You can't really see much in there besides the air pocket they have. But it should be pretty exciting. I'll keep you guys updated. <laughs>